Scott from you guys, lovely to meet you. Congratulations on this incredible success of this show. This is crazy. It's pretty crazy. It's gone from, it's kind of, in a strange way, crept up on people because of Netflix and the facility that it has, that people kind of have come to it at different times, whereas with a movie, it's kind of, oh, this is when it's out. That must be, yeah, it must be a strange feeling that people are still discovering it all around the world. It's amazing. I mean, the testament to it is that we didn't have one of these last year, so we had quite an intimate casting crew, and it was brilliant. But we didn't have a red carpet last year, so I think that sort of shows in the last the last twelve months that it's sort of it's been seen and been loved, and we're feeling that love now. Whereas before, you you make the first series in a bit of a in a bit of a void, you don't know, and you hope that it's going to work and get seen, but you don't have any real any real confidence that it's going to be a big hit. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I can imagine that it gives you. A diff, a, it still gives you kind of pressure, but a different pressure in that you're, there's a lot of yeah. fan base now and everything else, but that must give you much more energy to tell a different story and tell something that people... There was a lot more energy from it because I think everybody was energised by the fact they knew that we'd made something that worked. I'm personally feeling the sort of second album syndrome terror. I, like, I didn't think about it for a few weeks over Christmas, so I just switched off and then we came back and it's like, it's happening now. You just want it to be seen again and not to, yeah, not to drop off. But no, it's good. I think this series is better. It's bigger, better, and yeah, more confident. Amazing new characters. And Laurie, the writer, has done this amazing thing where she's managed to fit more stuff into the same running time. So it's it's quite a breakneck. Yeah. It's quite a vast show as well. I mean, it has this kind of, you know, the school is very vast and Jim Anderson's house is very vast, yeah. but it still has this intimacy. I mean, is it hard to juggle yeah. both of those things or is it quite easy now that you've kind of, you've got a rhythm to it? Yeah, it's easier, especially we had three directors this series um, and it was definitely easy knowing that we, you could, without being sort of wanky and self-indulgent, you can talk about what worked last year. So you can get the style and the rhythm and like, yeah, the, in, the contrast, like you said, between the intimacy of conversation and the sort of the vistas visually which was really fun but yeah it's a very fun show to shoot and for fans that are eagerly awaiting what would you say to them that they can expect from season two my mind goes through the stuff i know i can't say <laughs> um i think um will we open spectacularly on otis having got past his sexual block that's quite a messy uh, montage at the start of start of this series but I think just um, it's a next step it's the evolution it's people taking the conversation to the next step about how they're handling their own love lives and it becomes messier and you've got love triangles that become love squares and it's all very um, it's just yeah it's just like that, all the good things about rom-coms just put in a pot and shaken up a little bit I wish you all the best thanks so much for your time pleasure cheers ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!